So what do we do? I think you should call Congress and tell them October 29th, if you're in the freaking cloakroom, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea to call up and say I'm coming for you to no. a congressman. I yes, say that's, a, that's going to get you a visit from. Why? Uh, you don't think the government's coming for you? <laughs> that's not going to well, be a good argument when they visit. You'll guarantee it with yeah. the uh, cloakroom thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, it's interesting because yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how you can not you can say that and, and everybody it, it immediately jumps on, oh, you're going to threaten them with violence yeah. instead of saying, I'm coming for you politically. I am coming for you politically. I will never forget your face or your name if you're in that frickin' cloakroom or you vote for Paul Ryan. This is it, gang. And I'm not saying that because it's Glenn Beck saying it. I've been told by senators and congressmen, this is your last chance. If Paul Ryan goes in and he does the right thing and lets the process work, then maybe we have a country at the end. But I have been told, and Pat back me up on this, by very sober people in Washington, not flamethrowers, not people that will ever come out and say this in, in public, very sober, gentle, quiet people who have come to us and said, this is it, correct? Oh, yeah. This is it. If he, if the next person comes in, and this is before Paul Ryan, and they were like, well, if Paul Ryan comes in, it's over. Forget it. This is before he, he was just being kicked around as an idea. Forget it. This is it. Call your congressman now and say, shame on you. And I will never, ever forget this. And don't you hide in the cloakroom. <laughs>